Hello, and welcome back. We're, um, well, I don't really know what we're doing. We're doing, we're, we're kind of lazing around a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, um, recoil to 14 strata deep. It's not quite as far as we were, but it's pretty close. Oh yeah, I forgot we got cheated on that Bethel uh, quest. I would say we got cheated. I think it's fair to say that we got cheated on that one. Um, there's some interesting things going on in this floor. Do I want to dabble in any of this? There's a couple of... I think those are Cycle Flesh Guns. I'm not sure. Yeah, those are Cycle Flesh Guns. Those are kind of nasty. They can be anyway, but they're not currently fighting me because they're robots. Um, I kind of want to grab some of these. You know me. Uh, uh, the greed is good. Greed is good. Did I go ahead? Did I, um... Our electrical arc. Did I, I don't know if I managed to get the, the part I wanted. But that's okay. We're on bad terms with these robots currently. Oh, uh, there is some nasty things here. Let's go ahead and wait two turns. Oh, never mind that. That, that thing is dead. Um, what is, what are you? High voltage arc winder. Yeah, that one's a, a bit tough. They can actually do some nasty damage to us. Uh, we took the jacked high voltage arc winder. Ha arc winder is a very good item. We got an antimatter cell. This is one of the reasons I, I go out of my way to destroy these kind of things, these turrets. Let's go ahead and, and kill this catapult. Um, antimatter cells are just a wonderful thing. Go ahead and kill that lad. I know we could have like waited around and, and uh, you know, got them to drop more things, but I didn't really feel like doing that. But yeah, antimatter cells are, are what we want. A full antimatter cell is kind of worth its weight. I guess I have a bunch of stuff. You know what we should do is we should, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and go to Eat Freehold just to drop off some stuff. Um, you know, don't I don't want to be carrying too much. Oh yeah, we got we got all of this stuff I, I need to drop. We got some of these. It's good to have some trade goods, you know. Good to have some extra stuff. For selling. Uh, oh, we got some cycle gland paste. I don't know when we got that. We also got a cycle gland. Also don't know when we got that. Also don't know what we get that from, to be honest. Ooh, look at all the stuff. We could uh, disassemble the spacer rifle for a 7-bit. I don't think we necessarily need to do that. I didn't realize we got 7-bits from uh, arc winders. Um, I'm really, I'm very pleased about where this the run is right now. Oh, I need to tumble my, my gems. Um, I think it's fair to say this is like one of the best runs I have ever done. And I definitely think like part of that is because the run has just been very good. But also part of that has been my like actually doing my due diligence and uh, making sure I, I get all of the reputation that matters and it's it's definitely helped a lot but definitely it's also just the run has been very good um i'm not gonna take credit where luck was clearly a factor but oh have all the, all the turga tilly Fergowitz have um did these guys just renew their goods it look, kind of looks like that's the case. Displacer, polarized. I do like polarized. Um, we don't need that. I am just going to like... Oh, wait. What, what was that mod? Phase conjugate. I don't really need that. Is that a Mark three? No, it's a Mark one. high explosive. We don't really need those. Um, I usually do this kind of stuff off camera um, because it takes a little bit longer than I would like. But I'm going to try and be real quick about it. Um, but yeah, like, we've got goods. We're here in Eid. This is the kind of thing that, you know, I do often. Phase Cannon. I don't know if I've got one of those. 
Psychodyne helmet. I think we've got a good helmet now. Don't we have a Psychodyne helmet? No, we have a... a yeah, we do have a Psychodyne helmet. Those are really cool. Um, I'm really happy with the, the Psychodyne helmet. It's, it's a really cool one. Flaming polarized. Mm. Ooh, get, get ourselves a dysfunctional AI uh, master unit. That is always nice. I'm kind of playing with the idea of um, metamorphing, metamorphic polygelling to neutron flux, but I'm a little bit worried that that might actually cause them to explode. <laughs> Um, I don't know, it, like, I would love to say, hey, let me know in the comments, uh, you know, what, what the case is for neutron flux in metamorpho, metamorphic polygel. Oh, these are all pretty good. I don't think I have drum loaded and I don't think I have airfoil. Um, yeah, I would love to say, let me know in the comments, but the truth of the matter is I don't think that I will see your comment. Um, still, you know, if you want to support me, I, I always appreciate that. But yeah, uh, let me know. <laughs> <clears throat> What's what is the case for um, if you duplicate a neutron flux does it explode? I'm curious um, Other than that, I mean we're trying to get some metamorphic polygel that that is kind of our um, Goal we're also like I'm trying to get to level uh, Just level up so that we can get to 29 intelligence and that will allow us to Leyline Puppeteers is very tempting. I don't know if I have that, but we could potentially find it. All right, let's go and check out our uh, our Tillies. We need to we need a part like we need a body part, and I would honestly uh, what I would love to do is like do a couple of episodes where I'm just off getting parts, you know, from from. Uh, you know all kinds of creatures it, it, there's a there's, oh we got a zeta chrome dagger um it, it really lends itself to to a fun you know almost like safari-esque although uh that's probably problematic but you know like um let's pretend for a moment that uh it, it's not problematic to go on um some kind of like hunting mission but i like the idea of like going and trying to get a bunch of different parts and then seeing what kind of effects they have um, on uh, our golem. Now, we do have a jacked, refractive, two-faced psychodyne helmet. This thing does what? Plus two intelligence, plus four willpower. Oh yeah, we can't really get rid of this. Um, two AV and some resistance. For a uh, Zeta Chrome Apex is really tempting. In fact, I kind of want to buy it and then just store it just so I have it. I know that's weird, but like, ah, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, it, the, the opportunity to buy one of those rarely comes up if ever. And it would be nice to, you know, have one in my, in my catalog. Um, so if you don't mind, I'm going to buy it. This is uh, this is my crimmy present, you know, my 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 happy holiday crimmy present. Um, I, I I get I get to have a uh, Zeta Chrome Apex as a treat, you know. Can we do this? You don't have okay one one more of those then. Look how much I, I didn't I just realized look how much our cloning draughts are worth. It was like I think thirty thousand. Which is just great, crazy. Um, the Murmur's Prayer. I don't think I've ever seen that book. Or if I have, I've never taken note of it. We have some more... I, I know I sold a bunch of gold nuggets just now, by the way. Uh, I'm not ignorant to that fact. But it really doesn't matter at this point. We have so much trade goods just sitting in a chest upstairs um, that I honestly don't think I could possibly care uh, about money. Visage is really good. Um... I do really like Visage. I don't think I'm going to go out of my way to get it, though. Because we have two very good face uh, items. I don't think we can re really replace them. I guess the only way I would potentially trade... Yeah, okay, so there is there is an option here. If I was to get Leyline Puppeteers, I think... 
I think they're a glove slot, but someone said that they I th might take up a floating nearby slot. Um, but they would, uh, if they took up a glove slot, and I don't know if I could really stand to give up my Zeta Chrome gloves, but I don't know. May maybe I could. Leyline Puppeteers is, is pretty tempting. But if I got some Leyline Puppeteers, um, what I could then do is get, take off my face, my, my, um, face item that gives me temporal fugue and then uh, replace it with something else we'll definitely always buy a metamorphic polygel it's always worth doing that um sure for the meme for the bit i will buy a box of crayons wouldn't it be crazy if i got a second kessel face that would be quite possibly one of the coolest things i think i've ever done in a game i'm gonna go ahead and sell this thing uh it's cool um but you know we don't need it anymore that would just be wild if i got two kessel faces job pretty picture okay well we've got some more crayons to play with okay so that's uh we're pretty much done here i'm just gonna go ahead and store some of the, the things that i bought i've been reading the um some of the comments people saying that i i need to commit to my my mistake uh on <laughs> eat freehold being completely destroyed um luckily it didn't get fully destroyed but i do appreciate that uh you know people are like no this uh, i feel like maybe the part of it is that like people are like this run is already amazing you can you can stand to have uh, eat freehold get nuked a little bit but fortunately for me the run is blessed and uh it didn't get nuked it only got singed you know so we're gonna go ahead and recoil back to the baroque ruins so the, the goal really is to just fight some tough stuff and get some XP, get some uh, books, you know, stuff like that. That's really it. Get some trade goods, I suppose. Um, we can just clear voyance on every floor. So we do have saps. Um, these guys are, I think, like ego saps. Quick saps. So these guys uh, sap your quickness permanently. Not a huge fan of that. Come here, quick sap. I just want to deal with you. They are worth 155 XP each. We got more trending lamp rays. Not a huge fan of tr trending lamp rays. Um, we got two sets of trending lamp rays. They're not cool with me. Uh, I'm just going to run away from them. I, I don't want to have to fight them. I, I've I've said this a number of times, so I don't think I need to say it again, but Trinning Lampreys suck. Um, and more than anything, they just suck to fight. Like, it's not like they're um, very dangerous for us, although they are. Um, it's more like I don't want to have to do the tactical four-dimensional chess to figure out how to kill them because it, it is a ch it is pretty challenging all right let's uh we're gonna kill this trash abbot what is shooting at us is it just the trash abbot because it feels like there's other things shooting us luckily our point defense drone is really doing quite a lot of work for us the trash abbot is dead or not what is this? Is that an acid gas? Oh, plasma grenade. Heck yeah. Love me a plasma grenade. I know we're on, uh, we seem to be on good terms with the dervish, the sightless way. I don't really understand that. Um, seekers of the sightless way. We're at uh, negative 210. I don't know when or how that happened. It's been a crazy run is all I can say. Now this dervish is uh, nulled. I kind of wanna, they hit me with a plasma on. I do kind of want to fight them. 
since they, since some, something has gone ahead and nulled them for me they have coated me in plasma so I, I think they have a, a spacer rifle and that sucks for sure that's a thousand xp that's why we're here that is why we're here and they have a psionic flawless crystal dagger gotta gotta pick those up you know um plastic plastifer is pretty good trade goods they're not as good as like obviously there's better trade goods but you know you gotta pick up the bad trade goods and the reason being is because you get so much good at trade goods at the end of the game that you actually kind of struggle to spend all your money we're gonna do clairvoyance and then look at all this stuff going on uh looks like there's a putus templar there's actually a couple uh baddies in fact there's a aggro drone uh dromad caravan to our east which is a little bit spooky there's also a gamma moth gamma moth gamma moth um i'd like to sunder the mind of some of these seekers of the sightless way or of you know assassins of pato now they can put a force field around me all they want i am on the staircase i have already won it is wild to me that these dromad are not cool with us I am taking a little bit of damage. Ooh, they actually survived. Um, I can't remember if we like put temporal fugue or put our put our own force bubble on. Does it like overlap? Does it kind of like um, kill their force field? We could just wait for Sunder Mine to come back and then Sunder them again. There we go. 25 XP. It looks like um, Servant of Pato on our left has Temporal Fugued. Um, just like wait for a moment. Their Temporal Fugue will likely die fairly soon. Is that a legendary um, Petus Templar, by the way? Slimy Grand, New Father, and Psychic Thrall. It looks like they're not. There is some interesting things happening here. I'm not a huge fan of that Gamma Moth. Uh, they hit me with a flash of light. We don't want that. Honestly, let's yeah prioritize the psychic th the the gamma moth, uh, and then back clairvoyance. Go ahead and start hitting that legendary pato servant. They're mutating. Well, good for them. I hope they mutate in hell. Goodbye. We haven't gotten a freebie ego in a very long time. I know there's a there's a tabby somewhere. I want to get rid of that uh, quadrivolt glider. I'm pretty sure they're um, pretty tough biscuits, if I recall. They are dead. I do want to get rid of that psychic um, servant, new father. They're probably some pretty good XP if I'm. Oh, except we've angered the dervish. Let's go ahead and temporal fugue. And then put our bubble on. Oh, you know, it's it's kind of insane right now how good this run is, I gotta say. What do we got here? We've got um, just a gentling cone. They're dead. I know the tabby isn't cool with us right now, but that's fine. Tabbies are actually never cool with us. Did we actually kill the tabby? That's not an easy thing to do. Huh. All right, let's just like descend. We're 23 strata on a Baroque Ruins. I'm feeling very good about this right now. Uh, okay, these are robots I've actually never seen before, and I'm a little bit worried because 
decarbonizer. I don't know what they do, and I don't know if I want to find out. This is a phase cannon tinker. Phase cannons wouldn't be a bad thing. Um, the only thing really nasty on this floor is the gamma moth. Uh, kind of wouldn't mind getting rid of this gamma moth. Seven. So we we are at the at the point with our willpower uh, where we can basically have a permanent force field. Um, is that just like some freebie wine hanging out up there? Five drams of salty wine, lush salt. Okay. Yeah, there's a couple more gamma moths. I don't know if I really want to mess around with this floor too much. There's a book though. I will always go. Whoa, we got teleported. Oops. We are now trapped up here, but hey, we're trapped with some goodies. We got a floating glow sphere. Uh, I mean, sure. Ugh, full creep. Uh, I could make a nano pneumatic. Let's go ahead and make a nano pneumatic. Do I already have one though? No, I don't. I have to make a new one. All right, we will make a nano pneumatic jackhammer and I will use it. And then we set it to our primary. It's, it's just so much effort. I'm being very careful here not to um, like do this too quickly because there's a gamma moth right on the other side of this. Oh, maybe not actually. Seems our friend the uh, Oh, no, no, he's still there. He's still very much a thing. Um, okay, I don't really want to fight the Gamma Moth on their terms. So I'm just going to skedaddle on out of there. Uh, let's now re-equip everything I, I i can't stand having to don't i have a pickaxe i might have done a stupid thing actually we'll disassemble this nano pneumatic why won't it let me it's uh it's like straight up not letting me actually remove cell disassemble it's not letting me dis. oh it, i guess it already i already did it uh and then we equip our shield and okay cool oh and last step is um why is worn on oh right i i get it we have to unequip so many things and then like also change our primary i i cannot stand it do we have a pickaxe we do have a pickaxe that'll be the last time i make a nano pneumatic jackhammer there's absolutely no reason for us to do that that is a vanta bloom that is a vanta bloom I'm surprised I can see it. I'm surprised it wasn't completely shrouded in darkness, to be honest. We have a memory eater. The memory eaters are pretty good XP, so I guess I'll go to the effort to killing it. Yeah, 412 XP isn't bad. This is such a cool ability. It's just so ridiculously good. Um, this is a, would be a dicey floor, except we're on good terms with the robot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wait. We can't wait because there's an ego sap, unless they make their way over here, which they might. What are you shooting at? Oh, you're shooting at the slime. Robots and, and oozes are not okay with each other. One of those robots, ro robots, one of those robots. Turned a little bit to uh, Zoyberg there for that. Zoyberg. Good lord. Um, okay, we got a fungal forest floor. Wow, that's a busy floor. Good god. Um, we do have a mech. 
hostile. They're damaged, apparently. Low power. This creature doesn't heal naturally and must be repaired. Weird artifact. Very low. Interesting. I am curious uh, 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 about these, like, temple mechs. Um, but I don't know, like, ah, uh, I was kind of wondering since I'm on good terms with mushrooms, can I like walk by one without disturbing it? The answer to that question is no. Um, is this like crystal serpentinite? I really want to check out this dromad. This dromad might actually have some really good stuff since we are like 27 strata deep. They are potentially a very high tier dromad. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and equip our pickaxe and, uh, and then make it our primary. This still sucks, but it doesn't suck as much. And then I'm just, I'm just going to dig around the serpent tonight. This is a very busy floor. I love, uh, I love having the clairvoyance. It's just like so nice. And then we set our stinger as our primary. Okay, Dromad, what do you got? Um, you got a linear cannon. You don't really have much. I'm disappointed. Where is the staircase down? Oh, wow. Uh, is it really where the mech was? It is where the mech was. I say was because I think, oh no, it's, it's still around. I'm assuming we cannot sunder the mind of that mech. No, we can't. But we can force bubble and then shoot it. Did it run out of juice? It's badly damaged. I kind of feel bad doing this, to be honest. I'm going to go ahead and swipe them because I want to know what they have. Um, I don't think that I managed to get their good, so I'm gonna take an extra second and try and disarm them. What? Oh! Oh! Uh. <laughs> oh, if you're not watching right now, I just had my mind blown a little bit. So they are, they are mechs. Um, they're mechs that house the Pewtis Templar. The Gunner Knight Templar. That is so fun. Uh, as I destroyed the temple mech, a Pewtis Templar ejected from its pilot seat and it had a little animation. That is so good. I love that to bits. I am covered in spores. I'm hoping that I can, um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't get a fungal infection. Cool. Two. Oh, what is that? Charred corpse. Lacquered flawless crystal gauntlets. I took a crystal of Eve. Is that what I think it is? There's a bunch of things I should preserve here. Isn't Crystal... Is Crystal of Eve... What do you mean 750 pounds? Good God. Okay, well, we'll have to figure what, out what that is. But isn't the Crystal of Eve... Um... What you turn into... I really want to say the uh, Sphinx Salt Injector. You can eat it. You can just straight up eat it. But part, part of me wants to say that it's what turns into Eater's Nectar. No, it is Sphinx Salt Injector. So we can just make that. I'll make it and then, you know, gets rid of it out of our, you know. But what in the world did we just pick up? What is this strange tube? 750 pounds. Puzzled by strange tubes. Swarm Rack. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> 
It's a heavy weapon. No shit. It's gigantic. It's much heavier than usual, and it must be wielded by four hands by non-gigantic creatures. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. If we wanted to wield it as a non-gigantic creature, we would have to have four hands. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is what the chrome pyramids use. It is. It's gigantic, right? So... You know why that is cool, right? You know why that's cool, right? And we have a ceremonial Vibro Kopesh, which is also cool. Make no mistake. I've been trying to get my hands on one of those for a bit. Um, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Just give me a second here. We're going to go ahead, uh, just for the sake of organization, I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this baroque ruins thing it's it's play it was made to make a Betel very accessible but that Betel sucks and i'm never going to accomplish that Betel's quest so uh we'll go ahead and disassemble that then we'll go ahead and make ourselves another programmable recoiler and i'll then set uh install cell nuclear cell um and then uh imprint and then we recoil to, um, I actually kind of want to recoil to Baroque, um, Barathrum. Did I make a Barathrum? Yeah, I did. Did I, was I smart enough to put the chest right next to me? Yes, I was. I'm actually like really on the ball with this, um, with this series, I gotta say. Okay, store an item. I'm going to store the swarm rack and that may be something that I can actually use with with the uh the golem like that could be legit. Um neutron flux is already in there. I haven't put the uh what you might call it zeta chrome long sword in there yet because I just haven't gotten around to it. We have a few things we could get rid of, but I kind of want to, like, go and trade these things. I still am, like, questioning whether or not I should use a Schrodinger page from the Annals. What we could do is, like, have a look at some factions that are very, very close to 800 that I can actually have the Slynth join. And then just, like, put them over the top. Keep one on, on hand and uh, polygel it for that extra rep i know you can probably get it more easily but i actually don't have any book binders like i, I haven't found any book binders out there so it does uh, it's a little bit difficult um but i'm actually I'm, I'm pretty excited about the prospects of a swarm rack that's a big find um i'm pretty sure that's like gotta be one of the best weapons in the game um maybe i don't know uh but anyway if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. We'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.